welcome to another video from me, Ox of Demons, and today's video was suggested by a subscriber. Dustin Ely asked, I haven't seen everything you've done, but if you haven't, I would be interested in seeing a shotgun video or a breacher class video. Well, this video is for you, Dustin. Welcome to the Shotguns of Insurgency Sandstorm. I think in all my years of gaming since the ZX80 Spectrum in, well, you guessed it, 1980, I've never really played any tactical shooter or Milson game and used shotguns. Even way back when America's Army was great, or the Armour series, Tom Clancy, Dragon Rising, or, or, well, the list continues. Shotguns really never floated my boat. They were either shockingly bad damage, getting close quarters firefights and the assault rifle always tended to win, or they just lacked any real punch or sense of power. They're usually slow to reload and if you miss that first shot, it's usually back to the reload screen. I think the only game I can remember using shotguns was Battlefield Bad Company 2 and 3, the weapon of choice being the Sagaya 12. I hear good things about shotguns in Sandstorm, so let's have a look at both these beasts now and have a look at how they feel on the battlefield. In Sandstorm we have two shotguns. TOS 194 and the Remington 870. The Remington 870 replaces the Mossberg 590 from the previous title. The Remington model 870 is a pump action shotgun manufactured by Remington Arms Company LLC. It's widely used by the public for sport shooting, hunting and self-defense and used by law enforcement and military organizations worldwide. There are hundreds of variations of the Remington 870 in 12, 16, 20, 28 gauges and a .410 bore. In 1969, Remington introduced a 28 gauge receiver and all of the smaller gauges today are produced on that size receiver. From the original 15 model offered, Remington currently produces dozens of models for civilian, law enforcement and military sales. The TOS 194 is a 12 gauge pump action shotgun manufactured by the Tudor Arms plant. Designed during the late years of the Soviet Union, the production of this firearm started after the Soviet era in Russia, and since then it has gained a certain popularity with civilian shooters in Russia itself and in Europe, and is reported to be in use by some special Russian forces. The TOS 194 is a conventional pump action shotgun that feeds from a 12 rounds tube and chambers 70mm shotgun shells. Both these shotguns come with three different types of shells, standard, slug and flechette. Standard slugs, these shells are used for close quarters, they have a large spread and are best used for clearing rooms, getting in there, getting messy and letting drip through flesh. One shot to the face, arms or legs, and it's jib time. A modern shotgun slug is a heavy projectile made of lead, copper or other heavy material fired from the shell. Slugs are designed for hunting large game, self-defense and other uses. A shotgun slug is typically more massive than a rifle bullet, a much slower round and it has a mighty punch with a smaller spread. Think of these shells as the sniper shell for shotguns. It will penetrate most objects and walls in the game, and the range is great for close to medium. A flechette round is a pointed steel projectile with a veined tail for stable flight. The name comes from the French flechette, little arrow or dart. Various designs of flechette have been employed as ballistic weapons since World War I. Intended targets of such weapons include humans and artillery. The use of flechettes has been controversial. Along with their use as a biological or chemical weapon delivery agent, they can be inaccurate, potentially causing unwanted damage or injury. Imagine the shells having many small needles. These shells do not lose velocity at longer range, so using this at range will be quite effective for taking out those pussy snipers. They were also used in the Vietnam War to enable the rounds to be able to go through vegetation. As this is not my usual weapon of choice, let's see if we can get any kills at all and I'll put on screen the type of shell I'm using and hopefully we can blow some limbs off. Thanks for watching, subscribing and helping a minus sub 300 channel. Feels great to know that I get the thumbs up 
and a few of you appreciate the content I'm producing. I am actually really enjoying it. Thanks for watching. Very appreciated. Let's get on the battlefield. Let's lock and load those shotguns. At this point in the video, I wanted to just have this as gameplay and show my amazing skills on the battlefield. Unfortunately, Demon is not a demon of shotguns. I find this weapon extremely difficult to use. Maybe it's because as I'm getting older, maybe I'm not twitching enough, maybe I'm not getting on aim correctly in getting those kills. I know a lot of people swear by the shotguns in this game. Yes, they do sound beefy. And when you do get those kills and limbs come off, there's nothing more satisfying. But unfortunately for me, I tend to miss on the first shot and I always end up dying, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So let me know, if is shotguns your weapon of choice? Do you find this effective in-game? And what do you think of shotguns in general? Have they covered the games well enough with the standard flechette and the slugs? There's definitely a difference when playing with these different types, but it's just not a class for me. Where's the LMG? I want to put some lead down range. Ah! <laughs> 